Yeah. <laughs> are we? Are we? Are we all live? <clears throat> We're live. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Welcome to Carol Worldwide. Uh, we're back live <laughs> in studio. We were live last time, but oh, in studio. Right. right, we're back in the studio at Carol Worldwide Towers on 58 Carol Worldwide Avenue, high atop Main Street, Westminster. Yes. Looking down and everything, and uh, I noticed that we got some uh, good food today. Who sponsored us? Yeah. Andy? Our wonderful sponsor today was none other than, by the way, do I look handsome? You look Do I look fantastic. dapper? I was thinking that. If so, it is because I got my hair cut today at the Westminster Barber Shop, wow. located at the Westminster Town Mall. How many days a week is it open? It is open seven days a week, smoke free. Sorry, Town Mall of Westminster. Yes, you gotta is get that right. right. You gotta get that right. Do not mess up the name. Seven days a week, <clears throat> master barbers are the only ones in there. You have to, you have to be a master barber to operate a straight razor, I believe. But they have. Uh, Did you know that, Dennis? Yes. I, I didn't. Mm. Well, now, now you do. Now you've learned something. You do not look like you've been straight razor. I know. was in the neck. Oh, in not the neck. here. Not in the face. They opened with a garrow. They opened you up. And they really they have your your life in their hands because if they just your oh, carotid ar artery, that's, that's it. That's so. true. Living the, dangerous. <clears throat> yeah, but the place is like a man cave. Like he's got a billiard, a pool table, billiard table. He's got uh, a fridge full of beverages. You can get an adult beverage I while was you're there. Say, I've heard a rumor that they serve adult beverages there. They don't serve it. You can have it there, and you can have he it. has them there for you to take for free. Okay, got it. That's important. Gotcha. But, right. He's not a bar or anything like that, but it's close. He's a barber. Barber. He's a barber. <laughs> yes. Uh, boom, boom. Dad joke city, right? There's really nowhere else and to go. And ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> so located in the town mall by the entrance between uh, Belk, Belk, and well. Sears. Sears. How many uh, how many different times did we mention them on the show before they sponsored? <laughs> they're, like, they're like quite a whale. Yep. Oh, yeah. seven days a week, smoke free, Steve. We've, I hear you. I hear you. Master barbers. Well, the food was. Thank good. you very much. Yes. Also locally provided, but they didn't sponsor, so. Right. So we can't tell you. The food is lo yes. We can't say great. where we got the food. And oh, another yeah. thing is the barber shop is locally owned. It's not like a place you go into into like a shopping center or some right. of these chains where. Right. Somebody just came out of cosmetology school. This guy's been doing it his whole life. Right. We're All not right. the guinea pigs. So, <clears throat> Randy, again, since this is the podcast about you making the news in Carroll County, you had 450 comments about your revelation about the ice cream at Sheets. Yes. Right? <laughs> and they ran out of ice cream, in my opinion, in a large part, due to your face at Westminster well, Online Cody Post. And, I, and my kids, <clears throat> I, I'd, I've ordered five. Well, we went the same day that they ran out. I went with my kids and a, a neighbor. Actually, it was four of us. So, who caused yeah. the outage of the ice cream? You. It was. It was, a, it, was it was a combo. <laughs> it was a team effort. So, really, I mean, like people were like, look two ways, right? One, they'd be mad at Randy for running sweets out of ice cream, so they couldn't get it. But two, maybe you're a one-man economic stimulus package. Maybe, but I did include a link to our podcast, which was <clears throat> one of the secondary points of it, and. We got lots of listens, and everybody now knows about the glory of the opening of Sheets, and that I want to say now that I no longer owe Mike McMullen money. I sent my check. Excellent. So I'm no longer on the run. Mike, call off your dogs, <laughs> your thugs, your Carol Chamber thugs, <laughs> who I'm sitting in the room with right now. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you, you settled up. <clears throat> well, okay, so not, let's take ourselves out of it. What was happening this week that was, that was interesting? I guess the, the biggest news was the flash flooding. A lot of the rain. A lot of rain. Lots of roads closed. Let me put myself How back. Are the How are the roads? How are the roads? They were bad. Let me put myself back in the news because I got 30 <laughs> inches of water in my basement. Wow. Wow. So, still, still an inch left. As I'm, I, am, I abandoned my wife and dog, my child's already not at the house, to podcast instead of cleaning up. That's how much I care about the listening audience. We appreciate it. Yeah. Just very much. Did you can you thank me for my service? Thank, thank you for your did service. You, did you take that time like when it first started and there was like eight inches of water? Did you make any jokes with your wife like, hey, you got eight inches in the basement, blah blah? I didn't even have the opportunity. We were out of the house, so like we had like a evening function and so I wasn't home and then I was tired, I went straight upstairs and so I wasn't listening for the sump pump. And then I woke up in the morning and I was like, hmm, no hot water. And then I saw city councilman Ben Yingling's flooded basement on, on the Facebook. Mm -hmm. And then I went downstairs because I was nervous and it was like up to like the fourth step. And I was like, this is a mess. And uh, 30 inches of water now, one inch of water. So it's like a normal, mm. normal flooding instead of mm. apocalyptic. That's 30 inches sounds pretty apocalyptic. That's almost mm -hmm. three feet. Mm-hmm. 
two and a half. We well, yeah. do the math, Randy. <laughs> I'm very good at math. <clears throat> math, math cast. So, uh, <laughs> I thought there were seven water rescues in town, though. Really? Yeah. And that one guy that was offering his services that was really nice. The guy that had the he had the chainsaw and the tow package and everything, and he was offering his services to anybody that needed it. That's where Westminster people come together. Yeah. I didn't hear about any of that in the, the other boroughs around here, but maybe we got hit harder. Maybe. Or we just have better people. I mean, we have better people right. in Mount Airy. It's like, well, step it up, guys. Yep. Step it up, you southern Carol, southern Carol Worldwide, again, with the Westminster centrism, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm just noting it. Well, it literally is. Well, it is a county seat, so. <clears throat> Oof. Shots fired. The truth is, is that there are, people ha have chainsaws and tow packages in Sykesville. It's just, you know, they could, they could offer that. They were not offering it, no. Well, and this guy was offering it countywide, I believe. Mm. Wow. Wow. So, I mean, man, a lot of <clears throat> heartwarming stuff here. It's hard to make fun of, but thoughts and prayers to anyone whose basement's flooded. True. Namely, well, some other stuff happened this week. Like what? Well, there was that thing that you had talked about. The what? Dennis. The phones? Yeah. The phones. So there was... Um, Do tell, because I well, live in Iraq. You know, you know my number one thesis about Westminster Online Community is what do we hate don't, most? Don't, don't divulge it yet. Well, you know what we hate most, <laughs> yes. right? Yes. And kids, <laughs> I said, don't divulge. Oh, oh I, I, I was, I was, I, I was, I don't actually know the story, so I was just get guessing. off your phone, Steve. So <laughs> Steve's actually on us. his laptop. It's a big phone. Yeah, it's a big phone. Get off your laptop. Um, so <clears throat> it was someone that was posting, basically saying that kid parents were picking up their kids on their phones, not paying attention to them. Right. The parents from, were on their phones. From a school? I hope it wasn't a school, but it mentioned it in this flyer that the kids were trying to show their parents their work and the parents were busy on their phones. But the, the sign was littered with bad grammar. So I'm hoping it wasn't the English teacher that was writing Maybe it. Maybe it was daycare? Perhaps it was daycare, but what bad work do you do? Bad grammar on brand for daycare. What work so do you do at daycare? I don't understand. There was a sign. There was a, a flyer. There was a flyer. Someone like posted like something like semi-viral that was like, Oh, parents get off your phone, pay attention to your kids. Which, like, I think that's probably reasonable advice. But it was interesting to me because it was, like, one of the few times I've seen people say, like, <clears throat> perhaps children's actions are influenced by adult actions as opposed to I our see. normal thesis, which is, like, children are born barbarians and we are just at the mercy of their misbehavior and there's no person on earth who could possibly influence a generational <clears throat> issue. They are the rough asher that we must shape as good parents. Wow. Do you, do you, do you research one word <laughs> per week? <laughs> asher is a two-syllable word. Yeah, but, but, that, but that's, that's still like, that's still it's like a, a... It's a big word for you, though. It's, it, it's not even... It's an S&P word. It's not the syllables, <laughs> This right? is what I'm known for. Stupid. Okay. No, no, not stupid. It's just, but you said it's an SAT word? Is that what I, you said? I, think, I don't think I feel like it was an SAT I, word. It's, yeah. I think it is. All right, we'll I, see what you do next week. What you have we do. we did a comedy show for for the uh, Freemasons, and I learned about what they're all about. So okay. the rough asher is one of their one of their things. Oh, and problematic bread is something. But never mind that. <clears throat> so I have a theory. I think the kids around here need to step it up and be more interesting and stop being so boring. Because obviously the phones are more interesting than the kids. So. That's true. Like kids. Especially kids under six months have to really up their game. Yeah, st mm -hmm. stop with the needing to eat every day and needing love. It, be more interesting. Play hard to get once in a while, you know? Yeah. Quit being friend zoned, kids. Step it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you to get your parents off the phone. <laughs> I, I think that's true. It's like, you know, if there's a problem with your parent as a child, you should probably internalize it and feel responsible yes. for all their own your stuff. Yeah, own your stuff, especially, <clears throat> especially you know, mommy daddy problems, right? Mm -hmm. Right on you, kids. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, well, I'm 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 wondering what about my thesis that we hate kids? It's, it has not been disproven yet. Mm. But so, were you saying that this post was motivated by people not liking kids? Because no, it seems I like think... they're actually motivated by people like wanting kids to get more attention, which is against my thesis. But what's the ratio? It was one person who wanted kids to have more attention against what the thirty or forty right. parents that were showing up on their phones who did not want to give their kids attention. Well, what the, I only read this one when it first came out. What did like the peanut gallery have to say about it? I didn't read any of that. We don't care. We're the opinion makers. We, yeah, it doesn't matter what they have to say. <laughs> right. uh, what else happened? So we talked about that. Um, someone is moving here. They did a, like, a, I'm moving to Westminster. Can you give me some advice? Which is like a good reason to have this community. But the thing I found amusing about it, not to hate, was that uh, there was like a lot of questions. 
She asked for recommendations for every single professional service possible out here. Yeah, I think that, I mean, and maybe she's new to the community too, so I'm not like blaming her, but it's like one of those things where I like read all that as like, I can't even get through her post. I couldn't questions. either. And, and you know, how dare somebody move to our county and say, hey, veterans of Westminster, I'm new here, do work. Tell yeah. me what to do, do some work. Yeah, and it looks like she had a lot of comments, so <laughs> people were really to wade into it. But I think it's just like, you're better off getting like, incrementally, like one day you ask for your barber, which who would we go to again? Westminster Barbershop, 24, not 24 seven, seven days a week, <laughs> smoke free, billiards and beer. Over adult the, beverages. Adult <laughs> beverages. Right. Can you vape? Uh, no, I just, non-smoking and smoke free. free. Dennis, of all come kinds, on. of all kinds, but it's conveniently located in the town, town mall of West, mall. Town mall of Westminster, in between right. Belk and Sears. There you go. Belk is a store, not yes. Yeah. Master Barbers. There's a skill to and like, beverages. you know, kind of organically mixing in sponsor content. Yes. And I think we have really, really mastered that skill in this particular episode. Nailed it. When you say mastered like a master barber, like a master has barber. mastered the straight race. All right, don't give him more than <laughs> twice his value here. Okay, <laughs> we've already given him ten times his value because we do this every single podcast. Uh, <clears throat> I, I, that, that's all like the stuff I had about this week. But what about you all? Did you notice anything? No, it was all pictures of uh, people trying to one-up each other on, oh, this is Route 27. Oh, yeah, well, this is Luca Ball Mill Road. Like, which Flooding. one was more... Somebody should have taken a picture of, like, the Pacific Ocean <laughs> and said, here's, uh, here's Main Street or something like that. <laughs> no, and I'm disappointed I didn't see anybody uh, photoshopping sharks or steamships or anything like that. So uh, step up your game, guys. Get what? on the phones. It looked like Get on your phones. I did notice some people driving and filming. Which is problematic, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right? I mean, I think that like it's like, like on the spot reporting. It can be like I guess it can be important, right? Like it helps reduce traffic and the likelihood of you getting your car stuck. But I think my advice would be if you're literally driving, it's not the time to do the live video. That I would agree. Yes, especially when people are driving in a flood <laughs> with live video on in their a flood, phone, and they're taking video of someone else who's driving recklessly, but they're. They themselves are doing the reckless thing and not realizing it, and they get called out on it, and it's just a whole mess. It's like a, a, a nesting doll of recklessness. It's like I'm filming the person, filming the person, filming the person mm. being reckless, and you're all being turtles reckless. Turtles all the way down. Yes. Yes. Mm. Turtles all the way down. We got some good stuff going on this week. I hope, yeah. hope, some, hope someone gets it other than me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many minutes in are we? Can I wrap this up? I think so. We're about 12 minutes. Oh, gosh. Oh, yes. 12 minutes. Nothing good lasts that long, right? No. <laughs> so, All right, I'm Dennis Twig. I'm Randy Goldstein. And everybody's saying, thank God. I'm Steve Lowe. See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs>